What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirky Chan. Welcome back to another Dirky Chan fragrance comparison. Today, I'm going to compare the one and only Perfumes de Molly Layton with Perfumes de Molly Percival. I highly, highly recommend everybody who's interested in the house Perfumes de Molly PDM definitely sample these fragrances. I recommend getting a discovery set. I got one from Perfumes de Molly for about $30 just to try out all these different fragrances because these are very expensive for a single bottle. So you definitely want to try before you buy and make sure you really like these before you commit all of that money to a scent. Now before I do this comparison, I just want to say thank you everybody. Thank you to every single one of my subscribers for getting me past 1K. It's been an amazing journey. I love what I do as a, as a hobby and I love to see everybody's warm feedback. I love it when people help each other out in the fragrance community i see the comments people are asking questions and the subscribers are also answering those questions so i love that teamwork that we're having in this fragrance community and i just want to say thank you to everybody keep up the positive vibes and the the good criticism i welcome it all but merry christmas to everybody i'm recording this on christmas and for, for you, for people that don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year. I hope, you know, 2022 brings a lot of good luck and fortune to, to y'all that are watching. So, all right, man, enough of that. Let's get into this comparison. All right. So, I'm just going to quickly run down some key points for both of these fragrances, uh, Percival and Layton. I, ha I have these two samples, and I've used a good amount of both. Uh, to understand where they're going. So let's start with Layton. I really, really fancy Layton, and here's why. So it's a definitely warm and spicy vanilla-centric fragrance. You definitely get an apple note in the opening with a vanilla note that lingers through the entire lifespan of the fragrance. Now the apple note in Layton, which is uh, this navy blue bottle here, the apple note is very, very clean and realistic. Nothing synthetic smelling like in, let's say, Hugo Boss Bottled. Um, the apple note is just clean, realistic, and does not irritate the nose. It's not sharp at all, super smooth. And the vanilla, gee golly, the vanilla in Layton is unmistakably the best vanilla I've ever smelled in a fragrance. It's just so creamy, smooth, and it just smells right. Not overbearing, not too sharp, not sour, just sweet like caramel almost. Now, when I first tried Layton, it definitely reminds me of Ultra Male from JPG, but more classy more toned down not as sickly sweet not as energetic and not as sharp and definitely not as explosive i mean ultra male you spray that bad boy and it will blow up your room latent it's more laid back about it that's why i think this fragrance is fantastic for those nights out definitely a fall winter fragrance cooler weather approved it's just so sweet and smooth and warm that I wouldn't recommend wearing this in the summertime. It might be too intense. Now, my favorite part of Layton is the dry down. That vanilla dry down is the selling point of this fragrance for me. If I need a new date night fragrance and I want something that's super, super cuddly approved, Netflix and chill approved, I get Layton because that dry down is so cozy. You could spray this on and go to sleep and you wake up with a smile on your face because that dry down is heavenly. So that's my favorite part of Layton. My least favorite part of Layton has to be the opening. It The opening is a bit too much for me. There's so many things going on in the opening. You get smacked with mint, apple, woods. I'm just like, what the heck is going on? But let this thing dry down and you're set. Now performance wise, you're definitely gonna get eight to 10 hours and two to three hours of projection on this. So not too bad for a winter scent, I'll tell you that. All right, let's move on to Percival. Percival, Percival, Percival. This one definitely 
is another fantastic fragrance from Perfumes de Marley. It's definitely going more towards that citrus, woody, aromatic type of fragrance. Definitely get a fresh opening with lavender. That's the first thing I noticed. Orange and bergamot. Super fresh and you get this sporty shower gel vibe as well in the opening and mids. It really reminds you of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce or Mont Blanc Legend. But again, since this is a niche brand, PDM baby, it's classed up. It's smoothed out. The transitions are better. It's not cloying. It's not overbearing. So, it's fresh like a Dear Sauvage or a Blue de Chanel. And it has that citrus and that gorgeous Ambroxan dry down. So this one's definitely more towards that going out type scent, year round type of scent, day or night, office, doesn't really matter. This is your year rounder. Whereas Layton, Layton is more of a date night scent, more of a close encounter type scent, more of a cool weather scent. So my recommendation is that if you want a new date night specific scent, you really can't go wrong with Layton, right? But if you want something safe year round, get Percival. Percival is a great safe blind buy. It doesn't have the best projection. I think Layton performs better than Percival. Percival, I probably get about five to six hours of longevity with an hour to two hours of projection. Whereas Layton, this thing projects two to three hours and lasts me a good eight to 10 hours. So performance, I would have to give it to Layton. In terms of age range, these both serve the 20 year old range and up so they're kind of equal on the age range but in terms of versatility Percival wins in terms of versatility you can wear this to a date you can wear this to the office you can wear this to the gym it just works for all those occasions kind of like a uh, Chanel Allaire Homme Sport all extreme but I have to say Layton smells more unique that sweet apple smoothness it's kind of hard to find in other fragrances that smoothness is unlike any other smoothness I smelled. And this one has better sillage. You spray this in a room, people are going to smell this more than they smell Percival. But, you know, sometimes you want something like Percival where it's not blowing up the entire room, right? So, which one should you get if you're deciding between these two? If this is your first fragrance from Parfums de Molly, again, I recommend you get a sample first and get a Percival sample, or heck man, just get the whole Discovery set. You can't go wrong for 30 bucks. But if you wanna buy a full bottle, I definitely recommend Percival first. If you want a blue year round type of fragrance that's fresh, but if you want something more specialized, something more warm and sweet, man, get Layton. I mean, this is more unisex than Percival. I can tell you that. So that's all I really had, guys. So for me, I like to wear Percival in the daytime or if I'm going to the gym out and about and then I save Layton for the nights out or when I just want to stay in and cuddle up with a book or with my Mrs. Mang. So that's all I have guys. Let me know what you think about Perfumes de Molly. Overall, I really like this brand. All of their fragrances, they're very, very unique. You spray it on and you know you're wearing cologne. So. You know, props to Perfumes de Molly. That's all I have, guys. Thanks again for 1K subs. I really appreciate it, Fragrance Family. We're only getting started. We got a whole bunch of fragrances to review, so I better I better get back to work. I appreciate all the support, y'all. Have a good one. Ciao.